The Horsch Lieb sprayers and their superb boom control feature enjoy an excellent reputation. Traction, the professional farm machinery magazine, had the opportunity to test the technology in the field, operating the updated Horsch Lieb 7GS. The model is available in three specification lines that were reorganized for last Agritechnica. The updates referred to such areas as the software and the GS styling, which was adapted to that of the smaller Lieb LT models. The Horsch Lieb GS sprayer is available in three different main tank capacities, 6,000, 7,000 and 8,000 litres. The tank is made from stainless steel, whereas the 500-litre clean water tank in front of this is made from polyethylene. All GS models have the bottom mount drawbar, which makes indeed a lot of sense in this class. The 12-ton running gear is sourced from BPW and has mechanical elastomer springs as a standard feature. Those who seek more comfort can opt for a pneumatic suspension. Both the mechanical and pneumatic suspension can be upgraded by an Ackerman steering system. The maximum turning angle is, according to Horsch, a whopping 28 degrees, which translates into very tight headland turns. Also, you can use up to 2.05 meter diameter tires and vary the track width between 1.8 and 2.25 meters. The Lieb GS model is available in one three specification lines that were introduced in 2017, Eco, CCS and CCS Pro. CCS stands for Continuous Cleaning System, the internal rinsing system. Each line offers a different type of boom control. CCS Pro has electric suction and pressure control, which eliminates all mechanical taps. All functions on a CCS Pro model are controlled from the large terminal screen, which mounts externally on the machine near the inductor hopper. The spraying system is supplied by a centrifugal pump from load-sensing hydraulics. The pump provides a maximum oil flow of 1,000 litres per minute. Continuous cleaning is taken care of by a piston diaphragm pump. The operator can select one of various cleaning and rinsing programs from the cab-based terminal with the Horsch developed software. The CCS version has the same diaphragm pump for the cleaning system, but doesn't offer the choice of automatic rinsing programs. Another difference is that the pressure and suction sides are controlled manually, and therefore you have mechanical taps on a CCS model and not the external terminal. The Eco line has no continuous cleaning feature. The centrifugal pump is replaced by a diaphragm pump with a flow rate of 400 litres per minute. The pump is driven by a mechanical PTO. Like the CCS version, it also has manual suction and pressure control. All versions have the polyethylene inductor hopper as a standard feature, but are also available with a stainless steel hopper with a 52-litre volume. The colour-coded controls are arranged on the side of the inductor hopper. On its right is the clean water hand wash tank. The boom offers multiple configuration options. Depending on the working width, it has five or seven sections. Spraying widths range from 12 meters, with some sections folded, to 42 meters. Boom height can vary between 30 centimeters and 2.5 meters. The boom is mounted in a parallel linkage and has hydraulic suspension and nitrogen dampers. The sections in the middle are stabilized by springs. The automatic and so-called Horsch boom control is offered in three versions. The Eco version relies on two sensors and is fine in flat land and in slightly undulating fields. Whereas Boom Control Pro or even Boom Control Pro Plus is recommended in extremely hilly land. Both control systems allow operators to fold one boom independently of the other. There is only one pressure line and one return line to cover the entire spraying width. As soon as the spray pump is activated, the liquid circulates through the entire spray line, so there is always spray supplied to the nozzles. When the operator activates spraying, the priming line does not return the liquid into the tank, but uses it to prime the pressure line. Then spray is entering the nozzle line from both ends. Horsch relies on pneumatic nozzle control and prefers 25 cm nozzle spacings, but buyers can also choose single outlet or multiple outlet nozzle bodies. The optional auto-select control system selects autonomously the proper nozzle size or combines various types of nozzles and also controls the application rate. The system also comprises GPS-based or manual section control. Work rates range from 4 to 20 km per hour, according to Horsch. As for terminals, you can choose from the Touch 800 or the Touch 1200 unit from Muller Electronic or use any other ISO bus terminal. And you can also add a joystick and control all boom functions, sections and the manual Ackermann steering from here.
The so-called nightlight feature consists of two LED lights, including integral washing. Options include cubby holes left and right, a hose reel for external cleaning, and an integral tire pressure control system. Stay tuned for more test videos to follow here on Traction Channel.